I want to give you some tips on working with images on eBay in this video. So we're going to talk a little bit about using uh, the editor that eBay offers and uh, how to make your images stand out. So just to give you a, a starting point, uh, this is one of the areas I use to take my uh, pictures. Uh, we're in the afternoon right now. The light is kind of bluish, not the greatest, but with a little editing on my smartphone and then through eBay's app, I can make things look pretty good. So nothing special, uh, not entirely clean, but mostly white. This is the cleanest spot on that ledge right next to the window. Another option is just indoors, uh, and I'm inside uh, you know, a lot of natural light, but uh, inside where, I, where we work here. And uh, here's a, a box, uh, the white top, and the chain. Now, I've, I'm selling chainsaw chains here. So this is just some of the product I have from Surplus. Okay, So those are uh, two of the options uh, that I use for uh, you know, different places to just take pictures. And then uh, once I get the pictures, I'll I'll take them on my smartphone, email them to myself, or have them uploaded to Dropbox, either way. And then I can move them over to, to eBay. So here we're going to take these images. This uh, is a chainsaw um, chain with 56 links, Oregon brand. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of those keywords in there, highlight all of that. And then I can just copy and paste the name to each of the others with a, an additional number on the end to make them unique images. That way I've got keywords in uh, each of my images there related to the actual image or, or item. All right, so there are my images. Now if we go to eBay, click this little Add Edit Image box there, select Photos. And here I've got all my images. If I click on the first one, hold the shift key and go down to the last one, it highlights everything in between. I can open all of them and it will upload it. Now you might have a slightly different looking uploader here in eBay, but uh, it'll be similar enough. You know, the, the process is about the same. So you upload the images and then look for these icons. Now they might be right here underneath the picture like mine, or they might be over on the side, but uh, you're looking for these items here. So this one is to manually adjust the brightness and contrast of the image. That's the main one we'll use. If needed, we can rotate the image and we can crop the image. So let's start with cropping. Just simply highlight the part that we want to crop, apply, and now we've got a new image. Takes it just a moment. There we go. Crops out the, the extra side bit there that we didn't need. This is the big one that I use is brightening and contrast because that will clean up the image, make it stand out. So we brighten it a bit. That looks a little washed out. So now we bring in the contrast, a little more brightening. And pretty soon I've got an image that has uh, all that blue and the uh, side of the, you know, the darker colored white is gone. And I have the details of my item that can be seen. Now, with this particular item, I think this uh, on the on the box inside is actually a bit better than the lighting I'm getting right now uh, next to the window. And so let's look at those and see how they clean up. A little brightness and contrast. And basically what we're trying to do is just really uh, whiten out that um, background. And for some reason that's not taking effect. There we go. Lighten that up. Increase the contrast. That one looks like it might be a little blurry, so I probably will take a new picture for that. But for the purposes of uh, this video, we're going to leave it there. Uh, here's another close-up of the chain. We'll brighten that. Bring up the contrast quite a bit. Bring the brightness down just a little. So we want to get to an image that just really is sharp. It jum jumps out. It's got a lot of contrast there. I think I like that one maybe as my main. Maybe this one is our main image. So we'll take that and again crop, apply. 
This one does have a little bit of blue. I've actually uh, worked that in my phone and changed the temperature a bit to take a lot of the blue out. So hopefully, with just brightening and contrast, we can eliminate most of that. So it's something to play around with to uh, to get good images. Uh, again, that one uh, still has a little more than I like to to do there, uh, but a lot better than than what it was. See how dark we we have here, dark image, and just lighten it up, bring in the contrast, and we really end up with a much cleaner image of our product. Okay, so. Those are just right there in uh, eBay's system. Uh, I think we'll take that one right there and move it over as our primary finish, and that'll bring us back to our listing with the items here. Okay, you can go in and edit those anytime. I can come back into it if I wanted to edit and make any adjustments to it again uh, and update it, uh, or I can leave it as it is. And I've already uh, updated my title, put my contents into the description area, set my price. Everything's ready to go with that quick uh, with that quick adjustment to the images. We've got a nice listing ready to go. Okay. So that'll give you uh, something I hope that will help, uh, kind of give you what to to look at for editing uh, images for eBay uh, it doesn't you know you don't have to get real crazy with it uh, the best image you can come you know it's best to have the best possible image to start with and then a little bit of editing and you've got a pretty good listing put up there okay